In this video, we're going to look at how you can get the advantage in getting more clients over and above your competition and how becoming the expert in demand can help you make more money and charge higher fees. So we're going to do this on the whiteboard and I would encourage you if you are a coach, consultant, marketer, copywriter, accountant, lawyer, anybody selling their expertise, skills or know-how, you need to bear this in mind as you approach how you market and how you position yourself and you sell through online channels. So here I've got a little table and I've got your service on the left and I've got your competition, the competition on the right. And I've got an A in both columns. The A stands for your services. So when you're marketing and promoting, you get an inquiry. You get an inquiry for somebody and they're looking around, shopping around for uh, who can help them. They will be looking at your proposal and your competitor's proposal with the same eyes, different eyes to us. We will look at our proposal and go, our proposal is nothing like the competition. We're totally different. We're unique. We're special, all of that stuff. But the client is looking at it from their perspective and ticking it off against what they want. And they are marking us against what they want from our service. What's the objectives for them? So let's assume for a moment that broadly speaking, which is, is very true, broadly speaking from the client's perspective, they're reviewing two different companies at the same time and broadly their proposals are similar. Similar in terms of what they want out of the proposal. Not necessarily what you put into the proposal. You looking at the proposals would be different to how the client would look at it. So broadly speaking, the proposals are similar. So let's say imagining by chance, you put in a fee quote of 10K. And what do you know? The competitor does exactly the same, 10K. How does the client decide who to work with? How does the client decide who to work with? Now we could go and say, well, let's unpick the offers a little bit more, but actually they will do that. But the decision will come down to things that you might think are unfair. The client will go, okay, who've I known the longest? Who's known? Oh, health with good spell. Who have I known the longest? Would that have a bearing? Potentially, yes. And let's say for an example, the competitor, they've known them for 10 years and they've worked with them for the last 10 years. That could put you at a disadvantage. Unless, unless the competitor has messed up. In which case, they're looking to leave and you're the option out. So that would put you at an advantage. If the competitor had messed up, in other words, if the competitor had lost it, you could win it. So you can't predict who you can build relationships with, tight relationships with. You can try, but you can't do relationships at scale one-to-one. -one. So let's say for an example, you're marketing online. You're marketing online and neither of these service providers, you or the competitor, have any relationship at all. And we go, okay, this client has been aware of you from social media. So they've been aware of you from social media. They can relate to your content. Right? So they're aware of you from social media. They can relate to your content. And the final one. Now I'm doing this really rough and simple for today, but they believe in you and your offer. In other words, the service that you provide, they trust it and they believe in it. Why? Sometimes simply because they've seen you consistently. 
you've elevated your expertise. These three things, and they can relate to your content or they can see the value in your content. These three things will give you what we call expert authority. In other words, you're trusted because you're consistent, your message is relevant, and people believe it because you understand their situation. This gives you one win. And I'm gonna rub this off. So let's say now we have the confidence of the client. In other words, they trust us, they know us, and they believe that our service is the answer. Not by its components, but because of the value we've brought in, in our exposure to them, in our, in our engagement with them, in our interactions, in our visibility, we've built belief. And so we have the confidence of the client. Do we win? Of course we win. We win the business. We win the business because we've confidence equals trust. You can't trump trust. Trust is the most powerful thing. Relationships will only go so far. I have seen businesses where their best mate has pitched for the business and lost because whilst you have your best mate, some decision makers will not trust people They'll trust them as a friend, but they might not trust them as a partner, a supplier, or service provider. So trust is everything. So, okay. So this person loses because of the trust gap. Yeah. So let me tell you, let's, let's just change the game a little bit. What if that was 12,000? Would the client go for the 10K offer over the 12K offer and sacrifice trust, sacrifice certainty. Some of you watching this will go, my clients absolutely would. I would say to you, you've got the wrong clients. If a client will leave you over 20%, the value they don't understand or you may have failed to communicate the value you bring and you may be selling yourself on the components of your A, the time you take, the elements involved. You're selling yourself on the components, the features of what you do. And then as soon as you do that, you become a commodity. To sell on value, you have to have trust and you have to understand the needs of your target audience, the pressing needs of your target audience. So then you can implement a process, you become the expert in demand, where you start to sell on the value and the difference and the impact you make into a client's business, which elevates your price, and then you go, go to market and build awareness, relatability and belief in you, your value and the services you provide. That's how you become the expert in demand and that's how you shift the balance of power in decision making for you, for your advantage and you make more money doing it.